Hey guys, I want to show you one of these new characters that you can unlock. It is the Blood Raven Hunter outfit, and here's what it looks like right here. This is probably one of my more favorite outfits. I really like the red and blue contrast. Looks very cool in game. If you go over to Dossier and Challenges, you're going to see this one here. It's called Antique Collector, and you have to unlock these three hidden challenges. This challenge here requires you to pick up part A, B, and C from the treasure zombies on the darkest shore. It only works on that map because there's already a challenge for treasure zombies on Final Reich. And these parts, A, B, and C, are supposed to represent like some type of relic. Getting all three of these parts from the treasure zombies can be extremely time consuming. And we spent a lot of time working on this, trying to figure out like the spawn rates of these treasure zombies. We did figure that out, but we found out that yes, this could take a very long time. There is a shortcut, well, sort of shortcut, that we found that will definitely help if you guys are trying to, you know, unlock this character. And during gameplay, when we were trying to figure all of this out, we found out that there's a little, like, Treyarch Easter egg hidden inside of it, which is kind of cool. Now here's a side-by-side -side view of the regular hunter that you earn on Final Reich. It just has, like, that brown look to it, and that's the one on the right. And the one on the left is the new Blood Raven outfit. So there is a trick to getting these treasure zombies to spawn in. There is a trigger, just like on Final Reich. You had to just open up the chamber that went down into Barbosa, which was like the salt mines. That triggered the treasure zombie on that map. But there's a lot more you have to do on the darkest shore to get a treasure zombie to come in. So I'm going to very quickly show you guys the very minimum of what you have to do to get one of these treasure zombies to spawn in. You need to turn on power. You need to get both parts to the ripsaw. You need to turn on the power to the minecart area. You need to build the regular ripsaw, get a spine out of one of the zombies, put it in the table, and then upgrade the ripsaw. Then use the upgraded ripsaw to go over to the pack a bench area and shoot the head off of this body right here. Then pick up the head, take it down to the sub pin and place it on that door. You need to feed those batteries with zombie souls and then finish the lockdown event here in the sub pin area. Once this is complete, you need to get the monk head from the secret chamber in the minecart area and place the monk head inside that area that opens up where the burner comes in. There's going to be a console on the left where you place the head and then you need to rip a spine out of a regular zombie and put it in the bucket that is on the left of that console. What's going to happen is it's going to pull a zombie from out of that pit and it's going to run to the where spawn is and get one of the stones for you that's called the son of Nerthus. Basically what you're doing is trying to get the three stones of Nerthus to access that secret chamber underground. Once you open up that chamber that is what allows a treasure zombie to spawn in. Once you open that door for the Brenner to spawn in it's going to trigger the planes to start flying overhead and shooting and it's a good idea to just shoot them down because you're going to get wrecked if you don't. One of the Nerthus stones is acquired by shooting that rock right there and the third stone is acquired by shooting nine random rocks around the shoreline, you know, towards the spawn area. Now I've made a video all about this, so I'm not going to go over that again, but I'll have this information linked down in the description if you guys are not aware of how to do it. Once you get all three Son of Nertha stones placed into this door, it's going to open, and that is when you're going to be able to spawn in a treasure zombie. This is the part where it gets really time consuming, and you can do all of these steps up to opening this door with two players in about 20 to 25 minutes if you go really fast. And to get a treasure zombie to spawn in, it's not a random timed event. It is a very specific time. It does take a long time, and this is where the Treyarch Easter egg comes into play. We played a lot of games to, again, try to time this treasure zombie, and we noticed that he showed up at the same time every time. The moment that you open that round door and open that secret chamber is what triggers this countdown timer for this treasure zombie, and as soon as you open that door, he will come in at an hour and 15 minutes later. Not only does one come in at an hour and 15 15 minutes from opening that door, another one will spawn in after the first one another hour and 15 minutes later. And that will go on infinitely as long as you stay in the game. After we figured this out, we found a really good strategy for just hanging out in the game and waiting for them to spawn in. And I'll show you guys that in just a moment. First, I want to talk a little bit about how to get one of these treasure zombies to actually drop one of these relics or the ABC part. After seeing how we got them, like one time I used the saw blades, one time we used a sniper, and another 
another time it was just headshots with a Tommy gun. We compared it to other footage where people were picking up the parts as well, and it seemed like there was nothing consistent. Like, you know, one time I got a headshot, the other time they blasted him with the bacon and egg. So there's nothing consistent about how to get the parts. There might be a trick to it, but we haven't figured that part out yet. The only thing we did notice is that when we did get the parts, only one person was shooting at the treasure zombie and actually killing it. From the information I've gathered, my best theory would be to, you know, kill it by yourself and then shoot it in the head. Like, try to get a headshot kill. And then even maybe one of the kills needs to be with the rip saw. Just really not sure about that yet. Now let me show you guys a trick for making this a little bit easier. If you guys really want this outfit, there is a way to do it. Again, it is really time consuming, but it's a lot better than just, you know, trying to hang out in the map. I had previously posted a video about how to get out of the map and on top of it, and this is the best location for this strategy. We tried a lot of other places outside of the map and it didn't work like this works. If you hop out of the map and then come down this gray brick road and then just hang out right here, these treasure zombies are going to spawn in every hour and 15 minutes and then just walk right up to you. There's something unique about this part of the map where the treasure zombies stop their timer and they don't explode and they don't die. So you could literally sit in this game for three days and you're going to have like a ton of these treasure zombies on the map just like all around you. What we did was we would jump into this position and then go to sleep and then wake up and have like 10 treasure zombies to shoot and kill and try to pick up parts from. I know on the final rank I posted a video where you could make the treasure zombies duplicate like in mass numbers. Well that doesn't work on this map at all. You cannot duplicate them. All you can do is wait like an hour and 15 minutes at a time for them to spawn in. I will tell you that I've heard people in the community were able to get all three parts within five zombies. Now I've never seen proof of that. It took us 50 hours to get all three parts and we had to kill over 25 of these treasure zombies. We've been playing this map non-stop since the release to try to get all these parts and find the best method and people were messaging like hey are you not going to help try to you know find these characters and stuff like that but yeah we've been working on this one really hard and I think we finally got it figured out. All this work was certainly worth it. I really do like the outfit and this character the most but I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video.